Hello everybody, I'm Josh Cork, and this is your Blue Edge Energy Weekly Market Snapshot Christmas Edition. Ross, I'm queuing you right now for some sleigh bells or something. There it is. If you want to learn more about us, you can visit our website, blueedgeenergy.com, or, you know, just go ahead and give us a call. We'll teach you all about what we're doing, so let's jump right into this. The current prompt month, as we know, is January, coming on up. And the gas price is $2.63.6, a decatherm that's up 8.3 cents since last week. As a reminder, we are in the month of December. And for most of us here that rolled off the books, we went with the NYMEX and ended at $2.89.6 a decatherm. When we look ahead to the 2021 calendar strip price, assuming equal volumes again, we sit at $2.73 a decatherm. This is a change of 5.8 cents positive since last week. Now the next winter strip price out is $2.95.1, up 6.1 cents from where we were last week. Now it's quite a bit above where we are when it comes to where this winter is landing so far. The 2022 calendar strip price is $2.63.6 a decatherm, up 3.7 cents since last week. Lastly, the winter 2022-2023 sits at $2.73.1 a decatherm, up a measly 1.4 cents from where we were last week alone. Now let's switch gears and talk about the storage report. And it came in heavy. We saw a reduction of 122 BCF change to the ground storage this week, which was far greater than what they were expecting for the week in itself. But we'll talk about what did that do to the market? Not a whole lot. Now this puts our current overall ground storage inventory at 3,726 BCF, Give it better context, that's plus 284 above where we were last year and 243 BCF above the five year average. So we'll see how that plays out over the next month. When we look at regional cash out prices, physical gas in Chicago is at $2.55.5, up 28 and a half cents since last week. And for our friends on the western part of the states off Northern Natural Gas of Ventura, we're at $2.56.5 mirroring that of Chicago, up 33 cents since last week alone as well. Let's talk about the weather forecast a little bit. The Wisconsin short-term weather forecast is calling for daytime temps in the mid to low 30s with nighttime temperatures in the teens, but we're gonna expect a shot of cold weather here coming towards Christmas and Christmas Eve. And I kinda hope this happens so that we can keep the snow, so we can keep sledding with the kids and God help us all to do things outside. Now, meanwhile, when we look at the national eight to 14 day forecast, we're calling for below normal temperatures in the east and southeast and above normal temperatures west of the Mississippi River itself. Now let's talk about some commentary within the market. So after climbing off the bottom last week, the January natural gas contract ended rather team 10 cents range this week, finishing today at $2.63.6, up 8.3 cents since last Thursday, as we talked about. But today it was down 4.1 cents, even as the EI reported that negative 122 withdrawal, which apparently was a disappointment to traders despite eclipsing the year over year and the five year withdrawal marks for this week. Now the second commentary, weather obviously is the 800 pound gorilla that remains in the room. And to this point, it appears to us that the weathermen are kind of missing the short-term forecast a little bit with actual temperatures coming in, not above, but below what their forecasts are calling for. Now, once again, we are in a La Nina, and if the long-term forecasters are correct, then we ain't seen nothing yet, and winter is still coming, as they say in the Game of Thrones. So on behalf of all of us here, thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful Christmas. I won't talk to you for probably two or three weeks here. If you have any questions, reach out to Blake or myself. And on behalf of all of us here, Blake, myself, TJ, Karen, have yourself a wonderful holiday season. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later.